human innovation has gone very far in the past few years, producing things that just recently were thought to be impossible. But one place humans have not completely explored yet is the human brain. The brain has not been completely understood in the past, but science is making efforts to enhance our knowledge of the elusive organ. Elon Musk recently announced plans for his new company, Neuralink. Neuralink aims to use a technology called a Brain Interface Machine, or BMI, to enable patients to monitor computers and devices through their minds. Recently, they've even released a video that shows a monkey using his mind to control a game of Pong. In today's video, we're going to go over Elon Musk's plan to bring Neuralink past the testing phase and into our everyday lives. Before diving into the process, it's necessary to understand what Neuralink is attempting to accomplish with its solution. They aim to reactivate neurons in the brain that have been disabled or turned off. In the brain, a neuron is simply a small switch that switches a signal on or off, and these are the signals that can influence whether or not your body can raise a finger, think positive or negative thoughts, or fall asleep, amongst other things. The human body now contains billions of these neurons, each with its own purpose. Neurons are the transistors in the central computer known as the brain, measuring only 0.004 millimeters. It's even smaller than a red blood cell. The signal for a specific role is switched off when these neurons are affected. If a neuron in the brain's motor region is impaired, for example, a person would be unable to control the body part associated with that neuron. Neuralink's approach involves inserting fibers that are thinner than human hair through the skull and into the brain in a minimally invasive procedure. A computer has been designed to precisely place these threads into the motor areas of the brain where neural activity is absent. These threads emit electrical signals that jumpstart dormant neurons when they are positioned near them in the brain, which allows for a patient's motor function to be regained. Neuralink hopes to rewire circuits so that paralyzed people can walk, blind people can see, and deaf people can hear, as well as treat other neurological conditions like depression, insomnia, and Alzheimer's disease. According to Musk, the battery lasts a full day and can be charged inductively while sleeping, like by wearing a nightcap. Thousands of tiny threads acting as electrodes implanted in our brains can transmit this analog data through Neuralink's system. These analog signals will then be transformed to digital data, which digital devices will be able to interpret. Various learning algorithms can teach the computer which parts of the brain respond to which items, and it will be able to work with greater accuracy as a result of this. While this technology is not new, what sets Neuralink apart from other neural interfaces is that it can use much more electrodes to activate neurons on a scale never seen before. In contrast, the Utah Array, which is currently regarded as one of the best BMIs available and has been used to research conditions such as epilepsy, has about 100 electrode channels, while Neuralink's latest version has over 1,000, with the possibility of far more in the future. The threads are also thinner and more flexible, which lowers the risk of piercing blood vessels and causing catastrophic damage. Computers, cell phones, and wearables have all become increasingly important in our lives in recent years. Neuralink aspires to be a platform by which we can access the same technology without having to use screens or keyboards. Rather than transmitting visual and audio to our eyes and ears, they will concentrate on sending them directly to our brains. There are also several implications for potential applications. Elon Musk has stated that achieving AI symbiosis is one of his goals. Since the computer is, in his words, a Fitbit for your brain, an app store for it could exist, enabling users to run various programs. First, Neuralink product will enable someone with paralysis to use a smartphone with their mind faster than someone using thumbs, Musk tweeted earlier this year. Later versions will be able to shunt signals from Neuralinks in the brain to Neuralinks in body motor slash sensory neuron clusters thus enabling, for example, paraplegics to walk again. The device is implanted flush with the skull and charges wirelessly, so you look and feel totally normal. The startup released the footage in early April, which appears to show a monkey playing a simple video game after getting implants of the new technology. 
The three-minute video by Neuralink shows Pager, a male macaque with chips embedded on each side of its brain, playing Mind Pong. Although he was trained to move a joystick, it is now unplugged. He controls the paddle simply by thinking about moving his hands up or down. Musk and the company live-streamed pigs' brain activity when they got Neuralink implants in late August 2020. Gertrude, one of the three pigs in the stream, started prodding straw and chewing it down as her brain activity was transmitted, as was the neural activity in her snout as she searched for food. Musk described it as sort of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires, and added that you wouldn't know if it was under your hair. Neuralink applied for clinical trials in July 2019, but it appears that the procedure will be lengthy. Musk replied publicly to a Twitter request from someone interested in participating in Neuralink's clinical trial, saying that his neurotechnology firm is currently working super hard to prepare for this scientific feat. He said, Neuralink is working extremely hard to ensure implant protection and is in good contact with the FDA. If all goes well, we might be able to start human trials later this year, says the researcher. Incidentally, Neuralink is not the only startup looking into the brain's power and connecting it to technology. One of such companies is BIOS, formerly Cambridge Bio Augmented Systems and headquartered in Cambridge in the UK. The startup is proposing a full stack neural interface software slash hardware, similar to Neuralink, for use as a brain interface to communicate with prosthetic devices. In reality, the BIOS implant, rather than biosensors, regulates the prosthetics directly from the brain. Its clinical trials appear to be in the works, but the company has remained tight-lipped about them, leaving their website completely blank, despite reports that they are ahead of Neuralink. Another thriving company is Bitbrain, which is a startup based in Zaragoza, Spain, that has several academic collaborations all over the world. One of the device's goals is to increase support. Rather than replacing the driver, the computer will predict the driver's intentions between 0.2 and 0.8 seconds before they are carried out, which is faster than muscle execution. The acts of the driver are expected to be somewhat learned, resulting in a more relaxed and secure driving experience. In a way that would have been science fiction just a few years ago, the driver's brain is attached to the car, which curves around his or her driving style. Nissan has reportedly already embraced the technology and will begin using it very soon. Daniela Scalacci, the executive vice president, describes his view of the future as real intelligent mobility. Rather than using machine learning to drive the vehicle, the driver learns the driver's EEG time sequence, creating a hybrid of human and artificial intelligence to dramatically reduce car collisions. Cerregate, an acronym for Cerebral Gate, is the name of another startup in the brain-machine interface industry. Cerregate, based in Munich, Germany, is a BCI startup that is focused on Parkinson's disease and aims to eliminate tremors and other issues in a way that is more advanced than conventional deep brain stimulation. The company has already completed a proof-of-concept study with 15 participants, but unlike BIOS, the company's current activities and next steps are still unknown. A few solid rumors are that the company is primarily focused on apps, with machine learning-based approaches to personalize the device, and that it is currently raising funds in Germany and around Europe through a Series A funding round for an unrevealed amount. The moral ramifications of this technology are enormous. On one side, we're talking about using technology to empower people, but those who don't have access to it may be left behind. What happens if a hacker gains access to this device? Do they have access to your feelings, emotions, and thoughts? You might start to understand just how possible it is for Neuralink and other companies to misuse this power if the technology becomes commonplace. Neuralink aspires to combine artificial intelligence with our brains at some stage in the future, but to what degree can artificial intelligence or AI take control of our behaviors, emotions, and feelings. At that point, how much free will can we exercise? Elon Musk also indicated that Neuralink could assist us in creating the perfect world that everyone desires, but it's unclear how this will be accomplished. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, go ahead and click on one of these videos on your screen.